me. Don't cancel me podcast. So we're asking, regardless of what we say. Regardless of what you hear, <laughs> please allow us, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're just talking members the truth. Of the community. We're living our truth. So don't cancel us, innit? Still running, so yeah. fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> man, please, man. No, leave it in there. And I think sometimes as men, we've got to understand it. Yo, man, put that phone down. No, I mean, like, this, this comes on to a good point as well. Like, the way I put it where, like, everybody feels like every little thing they need to post yeah. on social media, down to the food they're eating, down to the freaking and that's how dangerous, music they're listening that's to. That's how down dangerous to, that's we become. all do it. We all, we, we, we all do it. How many times do you see me posting a slow jam video when I'm driving? Mm. Do you get me? We, we all we're do We're proper it. living at the risk because we're filming with a phone in our hand. Driving. Driving. Disregarding the fact that... Knowing that that's three points. That's three points. Or not even... The you can kill season. someone. Crash and yeah, kill yeah, someone. Yeah. Just to make sure the world we'll can understand stand. that we're listening to this At that moment. song. Because we, <laughs> we, want, we want a particular reaction out of it. Oh, I love that song. That song is so you're saying oh, this yeah. is our drug then? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Fully. It Fully. Is. But look at girls. You know when girls post up a snap of them and they... Do you know how many takes they do to get that right if you ever go for a girl's phone just after she posts a picture and see how many versions of this one picture that they put up and you know there's nothing wrong with the ones before nah they all look the fucking same that's the worst thing because it has to be an angle like when girls go on like you see me I find no disrespect I find girls pathetic when they go on holiday with their snap like when they do the whole no no but I keep it real like I said I'm not offending no one not all girls some girls yeah let's just clarify that like yo you'll snap and Oh, I'm with the big boiler and he's got the brother. You see the sparklers on the on the bottles and brother. all of them. Thing there. Where are you going? Yikes. Hold on. Yikes. Hear the thing. Film after that. Film after that. Why we why wouldn't you see the next the next um the next snap twelve hours later? Film after the club. What's happening after the club? Right then. Who are you beating shots at, fam? No one. Exactly. It sounds like hella shots no have one. been taken. But I'm keeping Shade. it. No, no, it's going back Shade. to the emotions no, from last week. No, Someone's no. going to listen to this and be like, <laughs> No. <laughs> it's not that, but it's being real. Our phones are a drug. And if you know what, yeah, there's an interview that Ryan Leslie done the other day where he's talking about the power of our phones. Wycliffe on the Breakfast Club. Was it the Breakfast Club? He was on the Breakfast Club. No, not Wycliffe. What's his name? What? Will I am. Yeah. Talk about the power of our phone. Like, do you know how much money we could actually make? Our phone is like our bank. Our bank. It's, like, it's our bank. It's like a job application all in one. It's we, a mini computer that we're walking yeah, around. Yeah, we're walking. Do you know how much things you can access on your phone? But mm. we actually do the most foolish things on our phone with it. Do you get me? I mean, it's all fun and games until you get caught in it. It's fun and games until something goes tits up. Oh, that was a long ten hour, ten hour flight home, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. I to you. slept the whole flight. Could you structure the story in my head? You were <laughs> how rattled. Do, how do I explain this? <laughs> social me? media, social media is a gift and a curse all in one. Yeah, it is because it can make you the most money you've ever encountered in your life, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it, or it could destroy the relationship you've spent years building in a heartbeat. Or it could, and it can fuck up your mental health too. And everything's misconstrued because remember, it's it's what you perceive what I've put out there yeah. to mean. So it may not even be accurate. And I think social media does play a huge part in mental health. And I wanna say, yeah, like obviously we're talking about social media, but I don't want it to look like we're bashing it. Blaming social media. Because no. ultimately we are responsible. We are control. It's, it's us, it's yeah, we need to look yeah, yeah. at ourselves. Mm-hmm. It's not social media because like I said, there's a lot of good things that come from social media. You can make money mm-hmm. off social media, you can get a lot of laughs on social media, you can be inspired by social media. Mm-hmm. It's just us as people and how we use it, that's what makes the dark side of social media um so we have to be like <clears throat> we have to almost have like a um like a social media diet like we always we always are concerned about what we eat and what we put into our, our bodies so we got also gotta be what mindful we of what, what we put into our time. minds and what we're looking at on a constant daily daily basis so i think a lot mm. of people i would advise a lot of people to go through their social media go through their following mm-hmm and just look at the type of pages you're following and if it makes you feel like you're inadequate or makes you feel like it doesn't inspire you then unfollow it follow, yeah. I, i'll be real once every maybe three or four months i have a moment like this epiphany where i'm just like this is messing with my head mm. and you see like all these girls that we were talking about before the american ones mm. i unfollow everyone Bruv. and my phone fo- 
you don't realize how many you're following till you unfollow them. You have yeah. to. And then you're like, my followers, like I've dropped. You just dropped. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know the worst yeah. thing is, yeah, some of them, yeah, you just follow because you've just liked one photo. One yeah. photo and you're, you're like, like yeah, or, you yeah. following. or what you do is, you know them generic pages that post all the women? Yeah, yeah. You've seen the picture and added them so you could see more, more. to see what's in there. Mm. But what like, you don't even realize is sometimes you're missing bare their posts. But this is the thing. So sometimes I just get rid of them because mm. I've realized it's actually me personally, mm-hmm. not speaking about anyone else, it actually warps the way I view women. But it's mm-hmm. how you control your social media as I well. I view though. them as, it's almost like an object. Like mm-hmm. I view you as, you know like the, the whole like the Tinder swiping thing? Yeah. 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 But imagine doing that no, in Tinder. your mind. In No, I don't. I've never needed it because I don't know how to talk to people on the internet. I just about talked to you. Mm. Not me. I signed up to that. Do you have Tinder? I signed up to that. What's Plenty of fish. Um, mm-hmm. What's that one called? Um, Plenty of fish. Hinge. I was on it for like a day and then I deleted it. Mm. I ain't got time for it. Deleted it. But that life, it genuinely, I, me personally, it's messed with my head. Mm. Because now, no matter how nice someone is, you your brain compares them to what you've seen and you're like, mm, but you're not good enough. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then even if you get with someone now. You have an expectation of or your brain still is like, yeah, you're nice, but you let me still character. search yeah, still, yeah, yeah, for yeah, some yeah. for for this idea of perfection so that you, I have. What you kind of do is you end up fucking over that that person. good one because you see more. Yeah, we look yeah, over yeah, yeah, the yeah. actual good things that are in front of us for this fantasy for that may fantasy, not even be real. Something what that's you, not real. What do you, you feel about people that post their relationships on social media? I feel like you're allowed to do it. You're allowed to post whatever you want on social media because you're posting your life. Mm. But what's funny to me is when you can notice when the relationship mash up because the pictures are deleted. <laughs> and it's all, especially what's from women, there's all these empowerment quotes. <laughs> to me is when you post and all that. Like, <laughs> like, we've all been there, innit? We might see a girl post a picture of her man. Oh my God, he was loving my life. We might know the guy, innit? We know <laughs> this guy's a fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he's the most amazing person. Like, Damn, she really don't know. Or, or she does know and she's just trying to paint a certain picture. I believe, I think you're right about that. Girls, there are some girls out there that would do that, paint a picture because she knows that man's a dog, but it's more of a... It's an image thing. Nah, mm. what's that word? It's more of a pose- 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 possession or possessive it's, thing. It's, like it's, it's like you're marking thing. your territory. You're basically, you're putting a photo up of you and man basically to let the others know that that's my man. Yeah, But, but them girls, they don't care. They don't. Especially but, if man but, is but, but willing it's, to it's, give it's it. It's a woman ego thing. Mm. I'm putting it out there. That's my man. So... You go over there, but these times it's it's not. You go over there, he's coming over here because mm. he's the one looking at it. Ah, I can flex, I can do what I want to do. The relationship thing on social media, I feel like people should keep that private because when you put it out on social media, you're inviting negative energy, a lot of opinions. Mm-hmm. 100%. So when you're making decisions now, are you making decisions based upon how you feel or, how or you based upon feel? how? the world has perceived what you have. That's why a lot of people put up with a lot of crap because it's like, if I end this now or I A, B, or C, I will look like a dickhead. It's like how basically when everyone took Nikita for a joke and she started talking about Terrell, Terrell, what, Terrell what's his name? Terrell Lu- Lewis? Terrell Lewis. Oh, Terrell, Mr. Blockworker. Yeah, 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 when she started saying, like, oh, he tapped in the window. Like When I saw that, I was like, oh, yeah, idiot. You were just doing lovey dubby pod um and this, this vlogs and all of that and now for all of a sudden you're trying to make out like this brother's uh This is the danger of this brother. Media. And actually no, no disrespect because the, probably that domestic type of violence does happen. So let me not say she's an idiot, but it was just like <sighs> But this is the thing, if it's they, how, they're how public figures though, so you yeah. can't blame them. Because they are they out were making money from Yeah, they are out in the public but, eye. But, but my point is it's when the flip the, the script flipped what she tried to perceive of him after all of that, it's like but, but what if that was the truth? This is what I'm saying. In a way, it's it's it probably you know it could have been the truth. It could have been the truth. Like but we said, social media is a highlight reel, and people yeah. are just posting the good so, things. So you not res- the... do you not respect her for them putting out that negative aspect but of her? You life? have to think of what were her motives. Yeah, what her motives behind that's and that's my thing is you... was it just to assassinate his character, or was it because it was real? Hmm. And she wanted to highlight that. You get me? You'll never know the ins and outs of someone mm. else's relationship. I just feel, me personally. You lot know me. I don't post like mm. that at all. Mm. Um, and I just feel like there's a lot of elements of your life you should keep private, not because you're hiding it, mm-hmm. but because you're in fi- as you said, negative energy. You're yeah. inviting mm-hmm. this in. So you put up a picture of you and your girl, for example, 
and you've got a load of people saying, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you've got the odd ones saying, Ugh, or why they look like that or anything, you understand? Mm-hmm. That could make you like upset about that amazing day. I'll tell you something. That you posted that picture, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When I posted up the, the photo of me getting engaged, when I proposed to my daughter's mum, yeah, it was a happy and sad moment because a lot of negativity came out of that. Like, a lot of people had negative things to say and it was like, hold on, us two just, we're trying to embark on a happy chapter in our life. But it was like, a lot of people behind the scenes had a lot to say and it was like, listen, like, that's the mother of my child. I'm trying to embark on a journey. I've put it up, I've posted a photo that, that means a lot to me to the point where is, we both had to take the photo down. But this is the thing. I was going to say, yeah. I was going to say as well, like, this is another thing with social media is we could post something and we might get 200 comments mm-hmm. and 10 of those comments might be negative. And um, because 10 of those negatives are commentative, uh, negative, sorry, we are not paying attention to the positive one. Yeah. We've now solely focusing on those, those mm-hmm. 10. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. now our minds are fucked Fuck. because like 10 people out of 200, 200 have, have a them. problem with yeah. it. But my whole thing is what was the negative and, and what gender was the negative coming from? Both. Male and female. My argument is, what was it? Because, for example, if you're out there doing your thing and then you get engaged, there's going to be a whole bag of gyal that are like, wait, hold on a minute. Last week, he was just hollering at me. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here? Doing that? So that's where the negative is going to come from in certain aspects. Like, hold on. Or, you see, if you haven't made it aware that you've got a girl, and now all of a sudden you're engaged. Yeah, I get like, all oh, done. All right, so this is the thing. Was, I, I heard the thing <laughs> Fooled the, the me. Thing, the, the thing was this, right? The thing was this was, I never posted my relationship with my daughter's mum. People knew I was in a relationship with her, but I never posted that as such because she's very private. She was a very private, she's a very private person. She likes to stay under the radar. You go be preps. I'm behind the scenes, innit? Mm. So when I did post that, for, this, for those that don't know me, it was like, oh, how, do you get, how do you get engaged? Well, I've got a child. Like, I posted slight images of my child's mother with her but not to the full detail so a lot of negativity came about that and it kind of effed up it did eff up a lot of things be- not between us but just the whole mood of it it took away the happiness but that's of that what, moment but that's why i say people should keep things private but it showed that that taught me how to then navigate on my social media afterwards it taught me to take control of what i post so if you go on my social media now you will see Actually, a lot of my photos are actually family orientated. If not with my man, if not with my brothers, not the man and my brothers, it's a photo of my daughter, photo of my mum and dad. So now, when you come on my page, you kind of get the general consensus of what it is, who I am. So if I do post that I get engaged, you understand that. Yeah, he goes out raving and stuff or whatever, but also he's a family man behind that. So therefore, when you now come with the negative comments, it's like I can deflect that. Swipe. What did they say? Swipe and delete, bro. I didn't understand that part. So my brain was trying to take, it's like, it's like when celebrities are on live and they're arguing with everyone that gives a negative comment. I was like that, no, I don't, I, you know, I didn't know how to control that. The flip side to that as well is obviously, um, we obviously were saying, obviously keep things private, keep relationships private, etc. Is that, cool, we might look at it as we want to just keep things private. We don't want to attract certain type of energies. Mm. How does that then make the women in our lives feel did they because f- a lot of women might see that as us trying to hide them mm-hmm. it's how it's how you communicate it though yeah i think that's where it is a large part of where we fall down is even not communicating or in the way in which we communicate it mm. so i believe if you are if you are genuinely that kind of private person it will reflect through other realms of your life the way a problem comes is where you post everything else but, but now yeah. you don't post this one thing. But you see, like what Prem was saying, like he'll post with the man them, and does that then give the woman in his life the right? Well, you post the man them, you post this, you post that. Why don't you post I, me? I feel like she could because if you post your mum, you post your dad, your brothers, your man them, your holidays, mm. your car, the one aspect of your life you are actually leaving out is this woman. But the things we had that conversation, she didn't want to be posted on that platform because she was a private person so okay. for me i yeah. understood that 
Do you understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But, but that's but, you. But what if she had a complaint? What if she was like, why don't you post me? That's what you're saying. Oh, if she had... A, then the question is, why don't you? Are you ashamed? Are you, try, are you trying to protect? Are you trying to cover up something that you're doing in a different role? Do you understand? And that, that's the that's perception the you would paint. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. I just feel like... And so it's even... Can't yeah. you? Men think like that as well. If my girl's posting her mom, our child, her girls, but you don't post me, mm. <laughs> what are you hiding? Yeah, but see, this whole this whole man woman thing is always going to. I think be men are set up a bit different when it comes to that. No, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. If I don't think it will bother a man as much as it will. It, it will, will bother, bother you, but not as much. Yeah. The same way. Nah, it'll bother me still. <laughs> but you're you're hyper emotional. So <laughs> <you don't laughs> yeah. It would bother. Why <laughs> are you not posting me? No, but I do. I do feel like it can only affect a relationship if there's no understanding. There's no understanding, and you've led her to believe that that was even a possibility. Mm. So, if you just don't post like that, or your posts are very generic and very light-hearted and nothing personal to you, then she needs to understand the fact that I'm not hiding you. I have no problem with you. That's just not what I do. It's not mm-hmm. what I post, yeah, yeah. Because you understand, like on my social media, I barely post anything. But if mm-hmm. I do post something, it's a quote or mm-hmm. maybe a picture of me at work or something like that. I don't even post my kids, mm. and that's not because I'm ashamed of anything. It's just. I believe that social media must be managed. He's leaving that Drake out here, D. <laughs> no, but no, he, I get it because obviously look at my page. I hear you. I post quotes and funny shit. There might be an odd picture of me and the man them here and there, but that's about it. But 90% of my page is quotes. If you, if you, and but then you look at my page, there's a lot of photos of my daughter there. And I think just because baby, I'm just like, I'm not saying, look, I'm just, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm proud of my daughter. But I'm that's how you choose to utilise your yeah. social media. Mm. Like, that's my daughter, that's me. I'm I'm proud of every moment that I have with her. So sometimes I want to share that moment. But I'm in control of that moment. I'm in control of that. Whereas before I was never... It, I just used to post it for the sake of it. So then when the negative stuff did come, I didn't know how to deal with it. Now, post something negative. But that's the thing. Like, I don't, I don't know the balance, me personally. Because I'm always told, even by you lot, post stuff, man. What's wrong with you? But I don't, I don't, me personally, I don't feel comfortable with it. Like, I've gone so long not doing it mm. that it feels foreign now. Because, mm. like, <coughs> prime example, you post your daughter. Mm-hmm. My son turned 11 the other day. Mm. He's a big man, like, he stood up, I looked at him, <laughs> like, <"Rah." laughs> yeah. I could have easily thrown it up. Throw but then on the flip yeah. side, I analyze it like this. I'm flipping up, hold tight, my son on his birthday, da 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 he ain't got no Instagram. <laughs> so how am I hailing out someone that's never going to see this? Mm-hmm. To me, it's stupid. Mm. Or and that's not to take away from anyone that posts their kids. Mm. But, or, you know, the first day of school. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. posting first day of school. My friend, I've been doing this. I feel like, and this is my personal opinion, mm. people that throw up these very normal things, it's because they're not used to it. Mm-hmm. So when they post it, it's, it's like, it's something to them. Yeah, Whereas yeah. to me, school run and first days of schools and it's 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 so every day yeah yeah. that what am i going to do post i'm going in the shower and then i'm coming out i hear hear what you're saying but you see like when it comes to the kids and them things there it's a proud moment like for instance my daughter done her first modeling shoot the other day and i ain't gonna be real when i got the photos it touched me to see like wow like the development of my i remember the first day that you're born to where we are now and I shared one of the photos in her traditional outfit because like my daughter's of she's half Saint Lucian, half Ghanaian. So it was like I showed the I, I there was obviously there was other photos I could have posted, but I post, I posted that specific photo to show that, yo, I'm gonna also teach my daughter how to be in touch with her culture. Do you understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But it was just a proud moment for me as a parent of for that to post that and just share my emotions with everyone, you know. Mm-hmm. And again, the reception from that was lovely. Do you get me? But it doesn't fill my ego to say, okay, look, I'm going to post everything. There's certain photos of me and my daughter. I don't even post that. Like, that's our memory. But certain things I like to share. First day of school. Or, you know, we're going into year six now. Mm. Like, the, like, the growth. Stepping stone. Yeah, the like, stepping stone. I'll be honest with you. I forget. I, I, this is me. Things are so normal that I forget them. Mm. You know, like, mm. some people, they have their kids and they're doing stuff and they're like, oh, let's take a picture of this moment. I'm around you lot so much. Mm-hmm. That I forget that almost this is a moment, if that makes like sense. It's a milestone yeah, in their yeah. life. Like, for like, instance, yeah, yeah. yeah, like when I look him up, I ain't got a photo, I ain't got a, I haven't got a secondary school photo. 
I've got a photo from my first date in reception. First date in reception in my mum's house. Obviously, we got the school photos every year mm-hmm. and that, but I was like, yo, dad, but you didn't take a photo when, like, my first day in year one or year two. Like, where, where's those milestones? You get what I'm saying, innit? Mm. And I think because maybe I don't have that emotional connection to that, I want to give my daughter that emotional connection. Pictures, yes, but what I'm trying to say is, so why would you not, if, why would you not just take the picture? And just keep it. And, and just keep it. it. And then when she gets to a certain age, Give her the because photo. I want to share that emotion with everyone. That's why. Ah, that's the thing. That's where my thing is. I don't oversharing. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, I don't yeah. care. It's gonna sound bad, but I don't care about or need the validation of others to make me feel like this moment was something. It's mm. not a valid for me. It's not a validation. It's just how I want to share that. Sometimes, well, yeah, I don't think it's a validation. Like, fuck your opinion. Sometimes it's just you wanna share that. With you wanna show off. Yeah. Like. This is my daughter, isn't it? That's the realness of it. Proud, isn't it? Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I just want to show off. I'm proud of my kids. Listen, Mm. my son stands next to me. He's five foot two. There's one foot between us. Mm. The man is eleven. His feet are size six. Massive youth standing there. You're training games. He looks like my little brother. Mm. You're you're training games soon, done, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's mad. He's coming for all my crepes. It's crazy. (laughs) So if I stood next to him, if you didn't know, because we don't necessarily look alike. Mm. He could be my little cousin. He could be... Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's my son. He's 11. But I'll tell you That's son, a though. big deal for but me. I'll tell you son. You see, he gets older mm. and he starts to more reflect your your mannerism and how you are. You're going to post a lot of photos of him. No, but this is the thing. No. With me... I think he would have done it already by now. Yeah, he's no. He's now, but... I, but you see, when he's older, like and he's a bit like an age of eighteen, you will start posting photos. Yeah, but no, no, no. But I feel like he'll have his own world, so he'll post yeah, his own yeah, stuff. He yeah. will, but for you, it's. I'm not saying you're not proud of them now. I believe you're fully. I know you very well. I know you're fully proud of your kids, but it's the next realm now you're in. He's still young. When he steps into that more teenager adult life, and you're seeing your son and my son's life, like me and them teenagers, you're gonna post. No, them. the thing is, I just don't care enough to post it because I've got the pictures from his birthday. Mm-hmm. It's just. And that is a proud thing because you think I've been, I've got an eleven-year-old. Mm. So you you track back eleven years and think, mm. bruh, like I was twenty-two. Like, yeah, that's mad. Yeah, it's, it's but I'm just not for posting all elements of my what yeah, life. Yeah, Do you yeah, understand what I'm saying? Be, there has to be. A I will post little bits and bobs here and, and there, here yeah. and there. There will I'm be. A, with you on that. There, there's pictures of the man them. And stuff like that, because as far as I see, is those are generic things. Mm. Then there's nothing personal. Nothing I post gives you an insight into my life in any real way. Yeah, mm. to, to create an assumption. Yeah, yeah, yeah anything yeah. I post, you, you could have possibly seen me. Like, yeah, do you understand yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? It's not. It's not anything. That anything. Behind, like, anything yeah. intimate in regards to my kids or anything like that. I'm not about it. I've got all the pictures. Mm. I've got files and files on my computer of my of my kids, especially like my daughter, because she's the youngest one. Mm. Kind of a bit teary idea, man. You said you're like, little, man. But nah, that's my G though. Yeah, that's yeah, my yeah, dog, yeah. 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 Mm. The boys, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're over there in it. They yeah. smell now, they have to wear the odor and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you see my daughter, my G. Mm. You question. see when I get old, she's gonna be the one to could, take care could, of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously you got a son. Having daughters, yeah. Do you feel your daughter has Touched an emotional nerve that's now made you one thousand trillion percent. And look at life very differently. Yeah, I think my daughter's made me very more erratic. Like I, I'm not erratic. My daughter's the only one that can calm me. Calm. That's what I'm gonna say. No, it when I say effect. erratic, as in, if there's anything around my daughter that goes wrong, I go ballistics. Um, because my daughter is my world. That's my princess. So I'm very protective of everything that goes on. Like yeah. I, to p- 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 be honest, I need to wear my daughter twenty four seven. Do you feel like that's because that's your only child and it's a daughter? That's a girl, yeah. yeah, because my daughter came in a stage of my life where I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't know what I was doing with life. Mm. She changed my whole complete aspect and look in life. I think she's made me a better... Having my daughter made me a better individual and made, and made me want to achieve more in life. So that's why you need to know where she is 24 hours a day. Yeah, but this is what like... If I could give my daughter a phone and just pick up the phone and say, yo... Like... That's how so in touch with her. Like the other day, we was talking to her, and I was trying to explain to her, even though she's seven. Yeah, I was saying to her, like, when you're sad, I'm sad, and she's like, "How, daddy?" I'm like, "Because you're an emotional, you're an emotional attachment to me. So if you're sad about something, I don't care if it's Peppa Pig or whatever. It makes me sad. Do you get me? Like that's how so much I'm in touch with my child. Mm. 
Maybe if I have another child, it won't be the same. It won't be the same. But I just feel it's just that the point of time when my daughter entered my life, it gave me a reason and understanding to I do think, much more. I think that says a lot about you as a person as well. I think that's an indication of how... No, and this is not a negative. Yeah. How emotional you are. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Because like my daughter, I don't need to know where she is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I don't need that. Mm-hmm. But my daughter's five. But you see with my daughter, she's the only one that can bring me from the brink of murdering anyone. Mm. You understand? Like, I'll be in my house losing it. You know, like, you're you're mad. My son's come down. I'm like, listen, now's not the time, innit? Don't talk to me. And all of a sudden, it's like she can hear it or feel Mm. it. She'll just come. I love you, daddy. And she'll give me a kiss. And I'm sitting there like, hmm. Yeah, Yeah, all right. Maybe things ain't really that bad at this Mm. present moment in time. And it's like, it's, you know, like, I don't know. It's, each each child, I know you've only got one each, yeah. Mm. But each child, as much as you love them equally, your connection is a little bit different. My dad says that all the time about me and my brothers. Like my oldest one, I know I expect more of him. Even though he's only a year, they're only a year apart kind of thing. Mm. I, I expect more of him. It's like I look at him as second in command almost. Mm. So I expect you to manage these lot. Mm. Yeah. And then my second son... Mm. <laughs> him I think he's going to be a terrorist but <laughs> <laughs> with him the bond's a little bit different because of how we grew together mm-hmm. kind of thing my youngest son he's the baby out of the boys mm. so he gets treated that little bit differently yeah. as well because you were the, until my daughter came you were the baby mm. so you were a little bit more mm. delicate yeah, yeah, yeah. but now my daughter's come it's a whole different dynamic now you lot are the boys there is no individual. No, yeah, you yeah. lot are the boys. boys you lot are over girls. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she's over here. Mm. They know it. She knows it. Mm. I know it. Come like mm. she's the queen and they're the servants. And it's not even a favoritism yeah. thing because I love them equally and she'll get bad up if she needs to. But it's like with her now, you are, it's weird. It's like the boys belong to their mums. This one's mine. It's like, it's, my, it's, you know what? <laughs> you, look, you look say this, it's, it's mad different for me because obviously, I got the son in it. Yeah. I ain't got a daughter, so I don't know where it feels like to have a daughter. Mm. But for me, it's different. Hearing you say that the boys are the mums and the girls' minds, it's different for me because my son is me. He's yeah. got that connection yeah. with me. Like, I he don't see like having you, that connection like with, you. with his mum. Yeah. He's got that with, like, the way I deal with my son, like, like you said, like, it's me. Like, everyone says it, like, he's literally a mini version of you. And that's how I look at him, like, He's literally just me, another version of me. And that whole connection for me is saying, like, you wish you had a phone. Like, I bought my son one of them, um, one of them Alexa, Alexa mm-hmm. dots. Mm-hmm. I've got one at home. So he can, like, there's a thing called dropping on it mm-hmm. where you can literally just say, call dad or call this person. And I could just be chilling in my room mm-hmm. and I would say, do do, dad. And I'm like, Yo, what one? <laughs> they got that. Yeah, but I didn't like, know that. One. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one too. I'm buying one. I'm buying one. I'm buying one. There's no, one. there's no like announcement. It will just go, dad, and I'm like, yo, what one? So he's like, what are you doing? He's like, ah, oh. or if he can't get, say I'm, I'm at home and he's done it, and uh, there's no answer, there's no response. It will just, he'll just hear background noise, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So he will then call me from his mom, dad, like. I, I called you at home, man. You. You're not Where there. are you? I need one of those. You're not home. I'm like, nah, I'm out. He's like, <laughs> no, no, no. But hold I on. left you a message. No, no, I'm no, like, hold cool. <laughs> <laughs> but you might me? call you in here, so I need to This is the it. thing. This is why it's very, very dangerous. <laughs> Could you imagine? Because Dad. Oh, only, Jesus. The only, <laughs> 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 the only notification you get is, do-do. So you know, like, shh. Well, up, well, up. Wait, wait, wait. Look, could you imagine? He called Dad and all he hears is, that's the thing you speak of it. You get me? Because there's been times I've dropped in on him and I can't hear nothing. Like, I can just hear, like, he might be in another room watching TV. Mm. And I'll, I'll shout, I'll be like, yo, what's that? And he'll come, you hear him running, like, dad. And I'm like, where was he? He's like, oh, I was in the front room watching. I, you know I, mean? I need. Well, you both have to have Alexa, yeah? You both have to have I'm the, one. one of the Alexa. No, no, no. I've got, I've got Alexa. I've got the Echo Bro, Dot. Get it. It's sick. No, no, I need it. I they just it. drop in on you. No, 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 I need it. I and need yeah, it. they leave. Nah. They can leave you messages. They can like, yo, send dad a message. Boom, boom. Nah, message. I need, I need that. Sit. I need that. But Jay, I'll be honest with you. As a man that's got sons and a daughter, a daughter will make your existence different. Different. Even in there. Just
to license it.